Hello, welcome to today's lesson from the IELTS Coach. Today we are going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you a writing example. And in this case, it's going to be a writing task to essay. I will show you the question. I will give some information about it. And we will discuss what to include in each paragraph. And I will show you the paragraphs that I have included. Remember, this is just a guide. There may be some mistakes in there, but it's just a way for you to see the process, how you should write something. What do you do first? What do you think about? And you will notice there's no draft. We don't think about everything and then start writing. It will be paragraph by paragraph. So let's get started and look at the question. So we can see there. Some people think that bicycles are an effective way to travel and bring many benefits to society. Others feel that bicycles create more problems than they solve. Discuss both views and give your own opinion. So the first thing that I recommend is for you to decide what type of essay is this? Is it problem solution? Is it opinion? Is it discussion? Is it direct question? And here very clearly it is discussion. Yes, it does say give your own opinion, but it's not an opinion essay. It says give your own opinion at the very end. It's a small part of the essay. Discuss both views is the main focus. That's what you need to do more than your opinion. Okay, so what are we going to do in the first paragraph? Your introduction paragraph should include a paraphrase of the topic and what you are going to write about, sometimes called a thesis statement. So two sentences. It can be three, but it shouldn't be more than that. And let's look at the example here. First sentence basically says the same thing as the topic. It has been changed. We paraphrase it. The meaning is the same. The bicycle is considered as an effective and efficient way to travel by some people, while others believe that they are not a good form of transportation. That says the same thing as the original question. The second sentence shows what type of essay it is and what's going to come next. This essay will analyze both points of view and say why I believe bicycles are good for people and society. So the first thing I say is the focus of the essay. Analyze both points of view. Then I give my opinion at the end, just like the opinion question is at the end. Don't start with your opinion because that becomes the focus of the essay. A very common mistake that students see opinion, they make it an opinion essay. No, it's there, but that's not the focus. Now, what do you think comes next? What's going to be the second paragraph of this essay? You've already said what it's going to be in your introduction. You will analyze both points of view. So one paragraph for one point of view, one paragraph for another point of view. They're two different points of view. They deserve their own paragraphs. And I think it's easier to do it in the same order as the question. The question says bicycles are effective and bicycles create problems. So write it in that order. So our paragraph two, first sentence is a topic sentence. There are two main reasons why some members of society believe that bicycles are beneficial. This paragraph will explain two reasons why bicycles are beneficial. We know what's coming next. It's in the topic sentence. The next sentence gives that first reason why they're beneficial. They allow people to travel without having a negative impact on the environment. And then the following sentence explains more about that. We don't just give reason, 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 reason. So here we have topic sentence, reason. Now the third sentence is an explanation. Why is it good for the environment? This is because they do not use any fuel. They are powered by people. And then as a, an extra bonus, another benefit. Sentence four, reason number two, why bicycles are beneficial. And it reduces traffic, especially in urban areas. Okay, so reduction of traffic, but now we need more about that. So what is the result of less traffic? 
okay? More cyclists means there will be less traffic congestion. So it's not just reason, reason, reason. We need explanations. We need examples. We need results. There's no example in this paragraph, but it is coming in the next one. Four or five sentences in the body paragraph. Time to move on to paragraph three. And we can see here the contrast. There is a section of the community who thinks that bicycles have no place in modern society. That's the focus of this paragraph. People who believe that bicycles do not belong. There are problems with bicycles. Then the first concern or the first problem is that bicycles slow down cars and other vehicles. Okay, they, bicycles are too slow. Then we give the example. An example of this is the growing rage over cyclists blocking car lanes and wanting to be treated as equal. When they block car lanes, they slow things down. So that's an example of slowing things down. Again, two sentences being connected to each other, not just reason, reason, reason. Uh, next, we have the, another reason why people don't like bicycles or think they're not very good is that they are seen as an outdated form of transport, no place on modern roads. Then a result. The result of this is less people will want to cycle and they become afraid because they think they don't belong on the roads. So we can see here both those body paragraphs, paragraphs two and three are very different. It's not just opinion, 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 because this is not an opinion essay. One paragraph about one view, one paragraph about the other view, clear topic sentences, clear different sentence types. Reasons, examples, results. Not just reason, 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 reason. You need that variety. And of course, we're going to end with the conclusion. And the conclusion is a summary of your main ideas. So the first sentence summarizes paragraph two. Okay, being good for the environment and having minimal impact on traffic. Those are your two reasons. So we've summarized those again. Sentence two is the two negative effects of bicycles or the problems that they cause, slowing down cars, not fitting into modern infrastructure. So that's it. You summarize the idea. This essay does say, give your own opinion as part of the question. So we do that at the very end. Okay, there hasn't been a lot of opinion language, but we can use it at the end. I feel that bicycles bring more benefits. And you might need that for word count. We don't in this case, it's close to 300. Between 250 and 300 words is what you should be aiming for. So just, I want you to see that process of, don't think of your main ideas when you start to write paragraph one. Paragraph one, you don't need any ideas or opinions or examples. So don't, don't put it. Focus on each sentence, just like I did. I read out each sentence. You need to do that. Don't start thinking of your conclusion or your examples when you haven't even written your introduction. Do it step by step. Build on each part of the essay. Sentences will connect to each other. Paragraphs need to be separated from each other. So I hope that example helps you. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of this. This is the first time I've done a full writing example as part of a video. Is it a good idea? Is it something you want to see more of? What types of questions or topics would you like to see in these videos? So thank you for watching. Good luck with your IELTS preparation, and I'll see you next time.